Visionaries, Knights of the Magical Light is a science fantasy media franchise that consisted of a short-lived toyline of action figures and vehicles produced by Hasbro, and an animated television series by Sunbow Productions that ran for one season of 13 episodes in 1987, while Star Comics published a bi-monthly comic book series that lasted six issues from November 1987 to September 1988. The animated series was the only Hasbro property to be produced by Sunbow without the aid of Marvel Productions, and utilized Japanese studio TMS Entertainment for overseas animation work. IDW Publishing published a five-issue crossover comic miniseries featuring the series characters and the Transformers from January to May 2018. Topic. Overview The story is set on the fictional planet of Prismos, a futuristic society where all technology and complex machinery suddenly cease functioning, and its citizens are forced to rely on ancient magic to survive. The titular visionaries are knights who are split into two factions, the heroic spectral knights and the evil darkling lords. Everyone who wishes to gain the usage of magic is invited to a competition by the wizard Merklin. After surviving traps, dangerous creatures, and each other, survivors are rewarded with unique animal totems affixed to their armor chestplates. These talismans are based on the bearer's individual attributes while allowing them to transform into their specific creatures. Some of the knights are given staffs enchanted with various magic powers that are activated by its holder reciting a special verse. They could be used only once before they needed to be replenished in the animated series, but had unlimited use in the comic series. Characters who could not use these weapons instead had the power to infuse vehicles with magical powers, the spells for which were printed on official toy packaging but never used in either the comics or the animated series. In the Star Comics series, the female characters were given shields which operated in the same manner as the male characters' power staffs. Topic. Characters Topic. Spectral Knights Headed by its leader Leoric, the Spectral Knights are magic users who use magic for the purposes of good, they are the protagonists of the series. Topic. Darkling Lords Headed by Darkstorm, the Darkling Lords use their powers for selfish aims and are the antagonists of the series. Topic. Other characters Merklin, the wizard who occupies the shrine at Iron Mountain. Merklin invites knights from across the land to compete in an obstacled race to his shrine, rewarding those who reach its hall with magical abilities. In exchange for recharging their power staffs, Merklin contracts both the Darkling Lords and Spectral Knights to venture on other quests on his behalf. He sometimes offers magical devices in exchange for their services as well but Merklin's gifts usually prove to be more trouble than they're worth. The character was named after Hasbro sculptor Bill Merkline, who developed the holography for the toy line. Voiced by Roscoe Lee Brown Fletchen, a young woman from a village outside of New Valorac. Darkstorm used her superstitious people as unwitting pawns in his plan to trap Leoric in his lion form. She was the first to discover what had happened to Leoric, but, though she was able to convince his fellow spectral knights of the truth, her own people urged on by Darkstorm refused to listen and only stopped attacking the spectral knights once Leoric was freed from the spell which trapped him. 
Fletchin appears twice in the series, but there is strong evidence of a romantic relationship between her and Leoric. Voiced by Jennifer Darling, Falkarma, one of the wizards who inhabit Prismos and a member of the same circle of wizardry as Merklin. The visionaries encountered him not long after they gained their magical powers. At the time, he was guarding the dragon's eye which Merklin needed to replenish his magic pool. Later in the series, Darkstorm used him in his plot to depose Merklin, before sending both wizards to the wizard's jail. Falkama escaped but was later recaptured by the Spectral Knights. Voiced by Hal Rail. Bagavas, an enigmatic wizard. He was among those who escaped the wizard's jail, but Merklin had never known him to commit evil and, when caught by the Spectral Knights, he denied knowing any real magic. Merklin subjected him to a test which would cause him to be consumed by fire if he was dishonest. When Bogavis appeared to pass, he was allowed to go free. Voiced by Jim Cummings, Wizasquazar, a wizard condemned never to tell the truth. He escaped from the wizard's jail at the same time as Fulkama and Bogavis, remaining at large until the Spectral Knights captured all three rogue wizards. But, before they could take the wizards to Iron Mountain, the Spectral Knights were ambushed by the Darkling Lords, prompting them to release Wizasquizar as a diversion. The wizard then joined forces with the Darkling Lords and led them to the Lost Shrine, where he betrayed them. When the Spectral Knights caught up with their enemies, they too came under attack from the shrine's magical guards, eventually leaving only Leoric to thwart Wizasquizar's plans. Voiced by Bernard Erhar. Glearing, Fletchen's father. Before the events of Lion Hunt, he and the rest of his people feared all magic and would use lucky charms to ward off evil. Darkstorm exploited this to stir up hatred against the Spectral Knights by convincing them that they were evil wizards guarding a magical beast. Glearing and his people learned they had nothing to fear from magic, provided it was used for good. Voiced by Peter Cullen Heskador, an ancient crone living in a cave. Darkstorm, seeking a means to defeat Leoric, sought her aid and she gave him the potion which trapped Leoric in his lion form. If the spell was not broken by the time all the three suns set, Leoric would never be able to revert to human form again, but the Spectral Knights found out what had happened and Whitterquick went to confront Heskador in her cave, forcing her to hand him the antidote. Voiced by Susan Blue Orzen, the ruler of the lost city of Kemir. He and his people had previously relied on robotic slaves, but after all technology failed, they staunchly refused to change their way of living. After experiencing a fearful vision of his robot slaves rebelling against him, he renounces slavery upon the realization that he himself was afraid of being enslaved. Voiced by Peter Cullen Belizar, a young Chimirite man who first alerts the Darkling Lords to his people's plight and aids him in conquering New Valarak. When told that, since he was not a Darkling Lord, he was ineligible to compete for the Spectral Knight's power staff, he vented his frustration on Leoric and ECTAR by forcing them to move furniture and repeatedly changing his mind about where he wanted a cabinet placed. Later, however, he and his fellow Chimirite, Mana, helped the Spectral Knights escape and regain their totem's powers. Belizar vowed to one day prove worthy of knighthood, in the meantime, he would stay in New Valarak and help the people rebuild. Voiced by Jim Cummings Mana, a Chimirite woman. She suggested that her people should try farming for themselves, only to be vetoed because her ideas went against the Chimirites' culture. When the Spectral Knights are captured and enslaved, she soon realizes that freedom at the expense of others is wrong and assists in freeing them. Voiced by Jennifer Darling Sun Imps 
The Sun Imps are diminutive and mischievous creatures who were featured in the final episode of the animated series. They were imprisoned inside an underground tomb after causing much havoc during the first Age of Magic, but earthquakes have exposed the tomb over time, prompting Merklin to send the visionaries to rebury it. However, Sindar is tricked by his fellow Darkling Lord Lexor into releasing the creatures, which leads to a frantic attempt by both factions to recapture them. Abraxas, the Wizard Imp. Merklin attempts to stop him with various spells, only for Abraxas to turn him back onto the caster. He is outwitted by Merklin with a Capture thyself. Spell that is reversed and leads to a Braxis capture. Voiced by Neil Ross. Gorge, the pig imp. He has the ability to turn ground to mud and can also cause pigs to stampede. His weakness is gluttony, which the visionaries later exploit by tricking him into overindulging himself. Voiced by Peter Cullen. Growl, the cat imp. He uses sonic waves to cause landslides and break windows, and can take control of feline creatures. Sindar uses his power of destruction to recapture him. Nightmare, the dream imp. He can send people to sleep by hitting them on the head with a small hammer, and has the power of hypnosis. He is caught after being dizzied to the extent that he knocks himself out. Voiced by Hal Rail. Maisto, the fish imp. He can turn ground to ice and take control of fish. Galadria and Virulina work together in their animal forms to trap him underwater inside a treasure chest. Shaggy, the hare imp. His favorite trick is causing people's hair to grow rapidly and then tie them up with it, which he uses to humiliate Darkstorm. However, he cannot use his powers if his own hair is cut, and he is consequently converged upon with oversized shaving implements. <laughs> Action figures In 1987 Hasbro produced a set of figures after the cartoon series ended. The figures had hologram stickers on both their chests and staffs, which resulted in the being expensive to produce the toy line lasted one year, with figures of the 12 male characters produced along with four vehicles that were packaged with an exclusive figure. A second wave of characters was planned for release in 1988 but were never released due to the cartoon and the toy line's cancellation. Around the 2017 San Diego Comic Con, a new action figure of Leoric was released at the convention and later at HasbroToyShop.com in limited quantities as part of the SDCC exclusive IDW Revolution set alongside Jetfire, Roadblock, Rom the Space Knight, a Dire Wraith, characters from the Micronauts, Matt Tracker and Action Man. Topic. TV series There were 13 total episodes in the television series, all written by either Flint Dill, Buzz Dixon, or Douglas Booth. Topic. Episodes Topic DVD release The complete 13 episode series was released on DVD in the United Kingdom in 2004 by Metronome Distribution, and included a special feature of a set of PDF files of the complete scripts to each episode. The series has not been released in Region 1 or Region 4 formats. Topic Adaptations Topic Comics Topic 
Marvel Comics Marvel's Star Comics imprint published a bi-monthly miniseries beginning in November 1987 that was cancelled midway through a four-part adventure in September 1988 after only six issues. The first issue was an adaptation of the first episode, The Age of Magic Begins. But subsequent issues took the storyline in a different direction with changes from the animated series such as characters having unlimited use of their power staffs, with Whittaquick and Sindar combining the powers of their staffs to defeat an enemy in one issue. The animal totems were depicted in their natural forms instead of the two factions representative blue or green. Topic. IDW Publishing IDW Publishing released a five-issue Transformers vs. Visionaries miniseries from January to May 2018, written by Magdalene Visaggio and illustrated by Fico Osio. Topic. Film In December 2015, it was announced that Hasbro and Paramount Pictures were planning to create a cinematic universe combining visionaries with the G.I. Joe, Micronauts, M.A.S.K. and ROM properties. The Hollywood Reporter reported in April 2016 that a group of writers, including Michael Chabon, Brian K. Vaughan, Nicole Perlman, and Cheo Hodari Coker, were hired to develop storylines. However, the writer's room disbanded in July 2017, and the series has since remained in development. <laughs> 